Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll highlight new features for beams in simulation. Enhancements include beams can be used in linear dynamics, which can greatly accelerate solution times. Beam section calculations are performed automatically. There is beam imprinting with mesh control and automatic bonding of joints. Beam geometry is now available in results plots. Here's an example of the linear dynamics functionality as extended to beams. On the left is an all solid element mesh of a structure, and on the right is a mixed mesh of solid elements for the pole and beam elements for the truss and main beam. SolidWorks Corporation recorded a factor of nearly seven times faster solution for a linear dynamic study. Since turnaround time is faster, the designer can investigate structural changes much more quickly. New beam section calculations are included. If you right click on a beam and choose details on the structural member, you now observe torsional rigidity, shear factors, and shear center offsets, all automatically calculated. There is new beam imprinting and mesh control. You can see the new imprinting functionality effect if the main beam is hidden to reveal the imprint. Here, the straight edges of the imprint are highlighted in red color. This results in a much more accurate capture of the connection area and thus the results. You can also apply mesh controls to the junction area as evidenced by the smaller mesh at this beam junction on the pole location. This can help with stress convergence studies. Additionally, the beam end joints are automatically bonded to the solid elements of the main pole, so you do not have to manually create a contact set between the joint and the pole. An option on the property manager for plots is labeled render beam profile as shown here. This lets you view the beam geometry on the plot, which is much more intuitive. In this video we examine new functionality provided to beam elements in simulation 2012. 